On South Africa's Breeder River, I've been battling a bull shark for three hours. I'm helping scientists prove that the bull sharks here are not the indiscriminate serial killers they are so often believed to be. Get to the bank, I think. We just need to get the off. Never had a fight anywhere like that long before. Wow. <laughs> right, the gaff's now out. Right. We'll keep it alive while the team quickly take samples, measure it, insert the acoustic tag, then get it back into the river. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sharks can't actually pump water over the gills, so uh, well I'm wedging the, the mouth open with a bit of wood and just shoving water in its mouth. Zero, yeah, be... okay. It's a male bull shark, nine feet, 10 inches long, and more than 500 pounds. One of the largest male bull sharks ever landed. The tags are there, samples taken, very quick operation. But this thing, having been so strong for so long, is now just feeling a bit like I am. So we just need to get it, uh, get it revived. Sharks trigger a primal fear like no other. And even though it's utterly exhausted after fighting with me for nearly four hours, this bull shark can still cause a nervous run for land. This is the kind of tag that we used, inserted just underneath the shark's skin. It's called an acoustic tag. It sends out a series of pings, which aren't audible to the human ear, but when you put a hydrophone in the water connected to this receiver, it will, first of all, identify the original fish. That's the serial number there. And then volume. And then based on the volume and direction of the pings, it will allow you to deduce the shark's position. So in short, this equipment enables you to see underneath the surface. The tag's battery lasts for a year and the signals can be detected from half a mile away. The tag was implanted with a special injector into the dorsal muscle and stayed in place for a few months until eventually the shark's body rejected it and pushed it out. However, some tags stay in other shark species for more than a year. The research revealed that the Breeda River is crucial habitat for bull sharks. The scientists also noted that the tag shark swam to within a few feet of people in the water and then swam off. So although they should be treated with caution, the tagging showed that in this river, sharks pose little threat to humans.